Okay, so let's actually find the volume. Okay, given um, two corresponding sides right here, this is similar. So the ratio between these two prisms is 3 to 2. And make sure you're going to keep the ratio the same. If you're going to keep it 3 to 2, that means you're, you're listing out this one first. Okay, you're naming this first, so it's this one to that one. Okay, if you want to go the other way, that's fine, but then you're going to have to make the scale factor 2 to 3 instead of 3 to 2. So always keep in mind um, which one this is. This, this number refers to the larger prism. Now the volume of this smaller one, the second one, is given. It's 50 inches cubed. Uh, so to find the ratio, the ratio of the volume, it's 3 cubed to 2 cubed. That's 27 to 8 is the ratio of the volume. This is the larger one over the smaller one. That means to find if I want to find the actual volume, this one, this the volume of this to the volume of this is going to become 27 over 8 simplified. So then I just know that um, I can make a proportion. Okay, this ratio is going to equal the volume of that because that one, it applies to the larger one. So let's say V for a volume over, what is the volume of this one, the smaller one? 50. That's how I get, I make my proportion. Because the volume of the larger to the volume of the smaller, simplified is going to become 27 over 8. So volume of the larger over the actual volume of the um, smaller prism. Okay, so then here I'm going to solve out this proportion. This becomes 8V cross products 8 times V equals 27 times 50. Okay, so using your calculator, 27 times 50 equals 1,350. Divide the 8. Your volume is... 168.75, and then here um, our units, inches, volume, it has to be cubed, units cubed. And that would be the volume of this larger prism. Okay, so again, to, uh, to make your proportion, we know that this ratio has to equal this ratio. They both are the ratios of their volumes. So the larger volume to the smaller, I'm sorry, you have the larger prism, the volume of the larger prism to the uh, volume of the smaller prism is going to become 27 over 8. Okay, so this is a simplified, okay, but then their volumes have to equal 27 over 8. That's the ratio of their prisms. And so you just make the two ratios equal to each other, set it equal. Make sure you don't um, you're going to keep the larger prism as your numerator. So it has to be 27 over the smaller prism. And this is going to be V over 50, the larger over the smaller. Okay, if you do it the other way, if you do the smaller over the larger, then you have to make sure you flip this one also, 50 over V. Cross products and then just solve it out. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.